And the first thing you need to know about pets and coronavirus is don't freak out. Veterinarian Kerry Waterhouse of the Lake Union Vet Clinic says that is from the CDC. They're very clear that we're not supposed to be getting rid of our pets and uh, doing things that are that are more alarming than that. But new evidence does mean we should be careful. The CDC says two cats have tested positive and shown symptoms in New York. And that tiger that tested positive in the Bronx? The zoo says three other tigers in Tiger Mountain and the three African lions that exhibited a cough have also tested positive for COVID-19. The World Organization for Animal Health says dogs appear to be susceptible to infection, but appear to be less affected than ferrets or cats. But they add, there is no evidence to suggest that animals infected by humans are playing a role in the spread. It just uh, is unfortunate for cats that they're similar enough. Um, dogs don't appear to be similar enough because we're not seeing the infections. Kind of the ultimate genetic coincidence, right? That's the key here. Yeah. It's exactly it. It's, uh, you know, it'd be the equivalent of putting your house key into a million different door locks and finding one that works. The CDC has the following recommendations for helping your pets social distance. Don't let them interact with people or animals outside your home. Keep cats indoors or supervised. Walk dogs on a leash and avoid dog parks or public places where people gather. And if you are sick, let someone else care for your pet. Avoid close contact. And if there's no other option, cover your face and wash your hands before and after. And one other thing on the tests. People always ask when they see that anim animals are testing positive, they're like, how are these animals able to get a test when people are struggling to attest? But they're different resources, right? Completely different resources to test out of a, out of a pool that has absolutely no impact on the human tests. Michael Crow, King 5 News.